Hello, welcome to Volume 1, Part 1 of our series on Applied Wing Chun Kung Fu, where we will be going over the first form of Wing Chun, Silum Tao. There are three sections to the first form, and beginning students learn the sequences of each of these sections first. And once they know the proper sequences of each hand, then the principles of each section are explained a section at a time. In part one of this video, we will perform and demonstrate the entire form and will explain the principles of the first section. The principles of the other two sections will be explained in part two. However, before we demonstrate the form, I would like to talk about how Wing Chun approaches forms. Wing Chun takes on a different approach to forms than other martial styles. Other styles view forms as a set of fighting sequences, where Wing Chun views the form as a framework. In other words, we do not try to imitate fighting motions in the form. For us, the form is more of a reference. In the past, other martial systems would analyze other styles and devise a sequence of techniques to counter that style and put these sequences in a set and practice them over and over until they became a habit. The problem with this is that there are endless possibility of sequences and one could never encompass all of them. Also, if your opponent did not do what you expected him to do, it could leave you in an unfavorable position. The only thing these forms accomplish is locking you into a predefined set of motions. Today, many styles still practice these forms, but rarely, if ever, do you ever see them fight this way. In Wing Chun, we do not fight with the forms. They merely serve as a reference or framework from which we draw upon. My Sifu would use the letters of the alphabet as an analogy to the first form. There are 26 letters to the alphabet, and most of the individual letters have no meaning. But when you combine the letters to form words, you can literally define thousands of words, which is the basis of our spoken language in which we communicate. When words are put together in phrases or sentences, it incites our imagination to think of ideas and emotions. In fact, when translated, Sil Lum Tao means little imagination or idea. When we fully understand the principles of Wing Chun, we can use our imagination to combine the hands within the form to literally create an endless number of techniques. So again, the first form only shows the individual hands as letters or tools, but not how we use them. In fact, the first form only shows the movement and shape of the hand and arm in relation to the center of the body. These movements are based on the physical anatomy and structure of the body that allows for proper leverage of the hand and arm in order to exert and resist force. When the first form is done continually over a long period of time, it creates a memory muscle that allows us to use the hand as an efficient tool without effort or thought. As a result, one might think that because Silum Tao is the first form we learn in Wing Chun, that it is less important than the second form or third form, or perhaps the wooden dummy. When in fact, Silum Tao is the most important form in the Wing Chun system.